Hi again guys, so another Gran Turismo 6 tuning video for you today and this time it's for the uh, Chevrolet Camaro SS the year 2000 model and uh, yeah let's get on with it so you want your racing soft tyres as always uh, as far as suspension I've done slightly more heavy duty modifications than I'd have usually done mainly because it's uh, American they're not exactly known for having amazing handling so I decided to put a bit more uh, work into it so we've got a ride height of 90 front and rear a relatively high compared to the usual relatively high spring rate 925 on the front 750 on the back I've increased the dampers to 5 all round as you can see excuse me increase the anti-roll to 6 camber angle 1.5 front and rear and as far as the tow, uh, neutral as always, so it doesn't drag its wheels. As far as the gearbox, you want your auto setting as high as possible. You want your final drive on 3.2. Um, for the diff, you want low initial torque to reduce wheel spin, high acceleration, low braking. Uh, obviously all the power upgrades, optional NOS, but as always I would recommend it. And you want weight loss, obviously. Now uh, it is American, it's rear wheel drive, so you may want traction control turned on, in my case I don't bother, but uh, see what it can do. So um, this Camaro is different to the kind of cars I'd usually have in my videos, um, kind of more of a normal car really compared to the stuff I'd usually do. And um, I know that this this is probably the least loved generation of the Camaro uh, among fans, but I like the car. I think it I think it looks all right. It's relatively cheap. It's uh, only around I think high 500 pp range, and it is pretty quick. I mean, it, it shares its engine with the Corvette. And although it has less power than the Corvette, that means it's it's going to be brilliant for tuning. And it is. I mean, it's a fast car, like I say. As far as handling, obviously it's got a much higher centre of gravity than a Corvette, and it weighs more. So it's going to wallow about a bit more, which is why I stiffened up the suspension. Just give it a bit of NOS to kick it up into 6th gear. And uh, you can adjust your final drive so you don't need to kick it up into 6th. But I found that uh, the cruising speed after doing so is only about 252, 253. Uh, whereas with this tune that I'm using, I can get it to cruise at 258, 259. And uh, because it's a relatively long uh, final drive, it means that you've got about 2,000 RPM that you can use for drafting. With NOS, this car will do about, about 280, maybe a little more with NOS. With Slipstream, even more. I think this car could probably go over 300 with slipstream relatively easily and uh, yeah it's got pretty good handling on the curve so overall yeah it's a good car it's cheap um, yeah cheap and fast so uh, hope this helps and as always thanks for watching 